Hello, welcome back to Death Row. Here we are. I may have derped a little bit and left the uh, prison, what's a Macaulay program on, the uh, Death Row appeal, um, and Ed Forrest kind of went through the process and he uh, was declined. Um, so if you did vote for the parole, uh, parole um, thing, the you know, in the straw poll, then awesome. Um, if you wanted to send for the chair, well, that's what we're going to do anyway, because his likelihood of clemency is down to 7%. Um, I'm still a bit on the fence about it, because he's pled not guilty to everything but violent disorder, but he was sentenced for crimes including murder, aggravated assault, and rape. So, I'm on a bit of a moral dilemma if I should send him to the chair, or if I should give it a little bit longer, or, or what. Um, but in saying that, we do have another death row inmate, Stanislav Hoots SPB Mik Mikhailov. God, I'm no good with these names. I'm terrible. All right, born and raised in Russia, later travelled extensively with drag, with dragging a bong and sizable stash of marijuana until I, I got to the attention of police. Good, not aggressive, always positive. What? Okay, so he got caught with a bong and a sizable stash of marijuana. Okay, he's 27 years old. Sentenced to 25 years in for crimes including murder, armed robbery, and grievous bodily harm. No family. Alright, so he's pled not guilty to murder, armed robbery, grievous bodily harm, armed robbery again, murder again, attempted murder, grievously bodily harm, murder... Oh, God. He's pled not guilty to everything. All right. Well, there'll be a straw poll in the description if you choose if you want to send Stanislav to the parole room or to the chair. So cast your vote, and we shall see where he goes. Now, I'm not sure what to do with Ed Forrest. I'm really stumped. I will come back to him, and we'll see what we do. I mean, he is below the 10%, but... Ugh... Uh, it's okay. It's okay. We will yeah, be back for you, Ed. Uh, as for the rest of the prison, we have built up the Max Heck area. So Acri and Bennett have moved into their own um, Max Heck area. I do need to build the solitary cells up for them, though. That's one thing I haven't done. Let's just build two of them because, you know, there's only two of them. <laughs> oh, let's just clone it. That would be easier. Just clone, have three of them. There we go. Um, I will have to, and I'll explain why in a moment, brick up this part of the prison, because the prisoners keep walking around out there, and they go up there, and they find contraband, and they're just, just bad, really. Um, so I thought, screw it, I'm just going to brick the whole place up. There's a doorway access there, so I'll just brick up this entire area. Um, and then what we'll do is put some doors in here. I mean, these will obviously be doors down the track, but just to have some protection now, that's all I really want from it. Uh, obviously make it nice and pretty as well, because why not? <laughs> oh, jeez, jeez Louise. A lot of forest there. Make all that. There we go. Some nice grass. Oops, too far. There we go. All right. So they will build that up, he will go into solitary and it'll be wonderful. Uh, so what I've done uh, is I've blocked off the two large areas of the prison for, for mid-sec because they kept going out there finding drills and drugs and marijuana and other crap I really did not want them to, to have in my prison. So I've blocked it off for them. The only place they can access now are just, you know, what you can see here. Um, the solitary bug is kind of working and kind of not. It's a bit weird. It sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. It's it's annoying, but it's it, I can manually move in this. That's, that's, that's fine. Um, right, we do also need to build solitary for protected custody as well. But what I think I might do is put solitary off one of these rooms. I don't want to put it off a, um, a, a bedroom, but probably off maybe the canteen. Maybe. Or maybe in the yard, even. Just have, like, I don't know, just little 
Um, I don't expect to have more than three people in solitary in um, in protected custody. And if I do, then I will be really, really surprised. All right, that should do it. Let's dismantle the tree as well because fuck trees, fuck them. Let's dismantle all that. Um, let's also put these doors back to normal mode because there's really no point having them. Oh god, don't dismantle it. Do not do that. No, don't don't dismantle. Stop. 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 <laughs> no! Well, there we go. There we go. Lock mode. Normal. <laughs> I don't know why I was freaking out about that. It's not like it's a, an issue. Uh, close that. Those doors can stay open. That's fine. Uh, that's going good. That's going good. One problem I am facing, though, the laundry room. Now, that's going to be a really big problem because people don't... Well, not really people. The actual prison doesn't really split the laundry up correctly. So... This one laundry is currently just doing the uh, med sec and the reception room. This one is doing just this area, and this one's doing just this area. But the problem is, the clean clothes go to the first built laundry, which is this one. So these ones, while people are working in there, they have nowhere to put them. So it's a bit annoying and bugged that I can't actually use the extra laundries I have. Um, so if you have a solution of how I can use these, that would be freaking awesome, because... Once Maxsecs start coming in in force, um, they're going to demand clothing, and the laundry's broken, so I don't know how to really get around that. Alright. Alright. I'm still on the fence with Ed Forrest, I really am. Um, let us take some more time. Um, now, some prisoners have um, parole hearings due, so that's what we shall build up for them today. A nice parole room hearing thing. Uh, so how big the parole room? The parole tables are, I think it's three by two, I'm pretty sure. The visitor tables. Yeah, three by two. Okay, we'll make it a pretty small room, because we don't really need that much space for one. Just enough to fit the, um, the table in, maybe a door. It's, it's all you need for it. There's no point building a massive room for no reason. Which may also bring me to building a visitation room for mid and max sec. And the perfect place for that is right off the reception zone of the prison. Now, I'm a bit skeptical on allowing an extra doorway from reception into the parts of the prison. But if I have enough armed guards and guards in there. It should put them off from trying to escape through it, but yeah, we'll see how we go. Because that so the problem with that as well is they'll come in... Actually, what I could do is just make the doorway out of reception. So the prisoners have to go all the way through here to get to it. And then we can add detectors you know, here or something. I think that'll probably work the best for us. That'll probably be the best thing. Um, so let us put in some detectors. Uh, we'll just put them there. Oh god. There we go. Um, what power plant should run that? Probably this one, actually. In all honesty. There we go. Alright. Alright, alright. That's still being built because they're so fucking slow, my workers. What are they doing? Wait, where are you... Oh, they're going to walk all the way around to get to... <laughs> oh, I... I dirt with that construction, didn't I? I dirt big time. But all of them are there, so it should go up pretty quickly. Maybe. There's still one spot missing. Who's doing that spot? Is it you? Oh, God. Why couldn't you have come with the rest of the giant line of conga workmen? Like, this... Ugh. Makes me so angry that they just don't come together and... Alright. Alright. Let's get this built. Where are you? Oh, come on. You're tired? Oh, poor you. Go put the freaking floor in so we can bloody... Yeah, got so freaking slow. There we go. About time, you slow piece of poo. <laughs> um, alright. Concrete door. There we go. Concrete door, concrete wall. Concrete, just a door there. Uh, actually, one thing I forgot. The parole room. Is that... Oh, damn it, it's 5x5. Five five. Yeah. That's okay, we'll make it one bigger, and that should be more than enough for it. 
That's okay. It's... Uh, that bugs me. It really does. Um, Alright, let's just put that table in. Visit a table. Yeah, that'll do. Have the prisoner face the door. Oh, one more death row inmate coming. That is wonderful. That is freaking wonderful. That is wonder freaking full. Um, alright, what is happening now? What is going on? What is happening? Hmm, alright, we're really just waiting for these guys to build this up here. That's all we're waiting for. Which, there's one guy taking forever to get down there. Very slowly. Very, very slowly. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. I'm still unsure about these visitor rooms here. If we have it like so, get rid of that door. That leaves us a 9 by 10 area in both. Which, how many things will that fit in? Uh, one, two, three. I mean, it could fit six in both. Comfortably. And have a double door there. Yeah, I think that will do it. I think that will. I think that would be a okay to have that there. Oops, just messed that one up a lot. I don't know why I did that, but there, that's just dumb. Cause it's already a wall. <laughs> All right, so we have doorway there, thing there, thing there, thing there, 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 there. There we go. I, I much prefer having it as a um, an airlock system, so guards and Prisoners come in one side and visitors the other. But I mean, it's not going to work because it's going to be straight exit out of the prison. So I don't really want that. All right, that's done. That's wonderful. Let us get rid of that crap. Put a light in there. Rooms, parole, 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 parole. There we go. Five by five, visitor table, 10 doors. Meets all the requirements. Get some power in there as well. There we go. Alright, is that the right power? Is that the right one? Yep. Um, let's see here. Programs. Parole. Here we go. Let's, let's um, edit that. Parole hearing. We'll set to... After spiritual guidance. The reason behind that... I actually doesn't really matter because it's. Oh, no, that's the wrong one. I don't want that one at all. No. No, it, it is the right one. Oh, okay, yeah, so it's the right person. Okay, cool. So it's at 5 pm. At 5 pm, we will know the fate of what will happen. Where'd that guy go? Who is he? Of oh, that guy. Who is that? Ingham. Gareth Ingham. Sentence to six years for carjacking. Yeah, okay, fair enough. That's a pretty. Pretty low-key crime. I mean, it beats some other stuff, but... That's fine. That's fine. Alright, Ed Forrest. Where are you, Ed Forrest? Ed Forrest. Ed Forrest. Ed Forrest. Okay. Ed Forrest, with the parole hearing not going so well in your favour, I have decided to go through with the execution. Let's schedule it. Let's do it. Here we go, our first, our first execution. Oh, listen to that music. Oh, that's ominous. Oh. All right. Um, what is the current schedule? Yeah, all right. Let's lock down the prison. Here we go. Locking the place down. Here we go. Here we go. Everyone return to your cells. Even though you're not going anywhere near the prisoner, but that's fine. There we go. All right, Ed Forrest. Oh, this this is actually this music and this feeling. It's, it's just let's test the chilly while we wait as well. Is there enough power? There is. This this whole feeling. It's just so. Oh, makes you feel really bad. And there we go. Alright, let's assemble the execution detail. Here they come. Oh, it's a rabbi. Forest priest. Okay. Is there anyone else coming? Is that 
Is that it? No? Just, just the rabbi? Okay, well let's get the witnesses in as well. Actually, shouldn't my chief and warden be attending as well? Yep, there he is, chief and warden. Here they come. Here they come. You'd imagine the chief would have a key to the door. He really would. Alright, let's get the witnesses in as well. Here come the witnesses. Who do we have coming with us? Who do we have? We have the execution, the forest's victim's family. Don't know who it is. Uh, victim family, victim family, the forest's mother. Victim family, victim family, victim family. Oh, that's going to be an ominous room. Jesus, one, two, three, four, five, six people from the victim's family and his mother. That is a very, very sad turnout. It really is. You'd feel so bad if that was if you were the mother. It, you really would. It would just it would be gut wrenching. It truly would. Because that's that's a kid as well, or a little mini Conan, one of the two. Jesus Christ! So I imagine that's the father, mother, maybe sister, or wife, possibly. Depending on his crimes. Probably the grandma, maybe. Why are you walking through my kitchen? That is not the way. Mm. It's fine. It's okay. We will let them do it. There's doors open for him. There we go. Alrighty, we're still waiting for the execution details to arrive anyway, so that's not a problem. Okay. Assemble execution detail. Okay, all the, all the detail is there. Just need to get the people in there. Why is it so dark in there? I need to get a guard in there right now. I can't really do anything though. Here we go. Escort prisoner to facility. The final walk of Ed Forrest. Oh, that music is ominous, isn't it? Oh. Here we go, Ed Forrest. Yeah, I'd imagine he would have killed a, a, a maybe one of the daughters if it was rape and murder. Quite possibly. God, it's walking really slowly. Really, really slow. Oh, this is... this. I actually feel like I'm making a mistake doing this, but he already failed one parole hearing, so we shall see what happens. Alright, into the chair he goes. Alright, here we go.